Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how to set attribute in the request scope, how we can uh, get attribute uh, from the request scope, and how we can uh, remove attribute from the request scope. I will cover. Okay. Uh, suppose if you want to set attribute, uh, we can use uh, request object set attribute method. You have to pass the name and the uh, value. Okay. Uh, suppose if you want to remove uh, attribute from the request scope uh, we can use uh, remove attribute method you have to pass the uh, name of the attribute okay suppose if you want to get attribute uh, from the request scope uh, we can use uh, request object uh, get attribute method you have to pass the name it will return the object and one more method is there get attribute names uh, this method will return uh, enumeration of attribute names okay and uh, I will show you an example how we can set uh, attribute uh, company name as Wipro and uh, location as India in the request scope. I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code. Uh, to explain how to set attribute in the request and how to get attribute from the request, uh, I have created the project called uh, Serlet Request Attribute Demo. Uh, so in that project in web.xml, I configured uh, uh, two serlets. Uh, the first one is first serlet and URL pattern is serlet1. The second one is second serlet, URL pattern is uh, serlet2. First we will see what is there in the first uh, serlet. Uh, so the class uh, first serlet which extends uh, HTTP serlet. And it has uh, init method. This method will be called by the serlet container to initialize this uh, serlet. And uh, it has uh, do get method. Uh, this method will be called by the serlet container to process the request and it has a destroy method this method will be called by the servlet container to remove the servlet from the service okay and in get method what i am doing is uh, i am setting uh, attribute uh, company name as uh, wipro and uh, uh, location as uh, india okay using uh, request dot set attribute method and uh, then i am putting some sleep then i am forwarding the request to the uh, second servlet using the request to dispatcher okay we'll open a second servlet uh, dot java so the second servlet which extends http servlet and it has uh, init method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and it has uh, do get method uh, in do get method uh, what i am doing is uh, i am getting the uh, attribute okay i am passing the company name so I will get the uh, company name as Wipro, okay, which I have set it in the uh, first servlet. So company name I set it as uh, Wipro. So request dot uh, get attribute. If I pass uh, uh, the company name, uh, I will get the uh, value as uh, Wipro, okay. That I am displaying in the browser. Then uh, next, what I am doing is uh, uh, request dot get attribute names. So this method will return all the attribute names uh, which are available in the request okay so i will get enumeration of names that i am iterating and i am getting each uh, uh, name attribute name uh, that i am passing to uh, request dot get attribute method uh, so i will get uh, uh, value of each uh, attribute and uh, that one i am displaying in the browser okay uh, I will uh, deploy this uh, web application in Tomcat and I will show you the output. I am building this uh, project. File, export, or file. And I am placing inside the Tomcat uh, web apps folder. Finish. I am going to start the server. Server has been uh, started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. I am clicking on enter. So it is displaying index.html content. Uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page. And it has a, a button called call first servlet. And when you click this button, uh, the request goes to the server and the action is servlet1. Okay. So the servlet1 is nothing but a URL pattern. I am clicking uh, call first servlet. So the request went to the server and uh, the first servlet has been initialized. The first servlet, uh, what we are doing is uh, we are setting uh, two attributes uh, company name and location, and then we are forwarding to the second servlet. 
so the request went to the second servlet also because the first servlet uh, forward the request to the second servlet and uh, second servlet has been uh, initialized and uh, second servlet uh, what we are doing is uh, we are getting the attributes from the request and uh, displaying in the browser okay so we'll open a browser so you can see the request attribute uh, uh, company name uh, value is uh, Vipro that is uh, uh, displaying in the first okay so that is this output this one okay uh, then what I am doing is uh, I am getting all the attributes from the request and uh, I am displaying uh, one by one uh, in the browser so you can see the output here okay and this uh, location and company name has been set in the code uh, that has been uh, uh, read from the request and displayed here but uh, other attributes like this much okay uh, this has been set by the servlet container uh, in the request so that also has been uh, read from the request and uh, displayed here okay and uh, this is about how to set uh, uh, and how to get attributes uh, from the request okay thanks for watching bye